Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie, being strategic, tactical, survival, and apparently very loud noises straight to your face holes. Today's game is Tenderfoot Tactics, which is an interesting one. It's kind of like a real-time world map, but turn-based combat. You are a group of goblins. The world has been overtaken by the mist or the fog. Occasion the fog retreats and you can go in and retrieve whatever's at the center. Now every time you get level up you give the guys more abilities and you can, so you train them with abilities, or you can when you get to a certain level, evolve them. So it's sort of basic goblin scout as you can see here, level 3 scout, but I now have two archers, one scout and a knight. Now he starts off with just three goblins, I gained an extra goblin by wiping them out because the fog of the mist basically corrupts them. So obviously if you make them good, you can get more. But your objective is to get to the world stone at the centre. Let's go see. As you can see, you don't actually have to fight, you just run away from them. They eventually lose interest, as you can see. But you need to fight to level up. Of course. So you have to pick the right fights. Because at the very end, there's some very powerful creatures. Let's see. So you can move and attack at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, so over there. Okay. You're going to move to there and hold the line. So your soldiers don't die. When they get brought down in the game, you can basically just run away and your people are fine. Once you have them, you have them. Yeah. But of course, if you lose in battle, you lose. Who's going to hit? Oh, my knight's taking a few hits. So my archers aren't too powerful. My actual scout's more powerful. So I may have to run away. Because you're taking a lot of hits. Okay, so you're going to shoot... Let's see. 75. That one. Then you're going to move to here. You're going to shoot... That one. Actually, no, cancel. You're going to shoot... That one there. Good. And you're going to move to, let's see, here. You're going to shoot that one and finish it off. Perfect. Then you're going to move to here. Maybe they can attack you. And you're going to hit that one. And move to here. And maybe you'll survive. No, you're dead. So, as you see, my troops get knocked unconscious while theirs get killed. Oh, are my archers that weak? You may have to run. Okay, you have 65 health, so you're going to move to there. And shoot that one. You're... Oh. So, we have to run. Yeah, we're going to have to run. So when you run, obviously you don't get any points or anything. And that squad just disappears from the world. So we don't have to fight again, it's just gone. But that's another possibility of us not getting experience. So you have to find the right group. So the enemy also has knights and things as well. As you can see, there's a couple over there. But obviously the more powerful you get, the more powerful the enemies are. And the deeper in you get towards the world stone, the more numerous they are. There's five over there. That's a group of four. We'll fight the four. This is about the gist of it. As you can see, each area is randomised. Your troops can move in. So we're going to see. Move to there. But it's also very tactical as well. Because obviously you can only hit on certain areas. And obviously you're going up and down terrain. You also use more movement. Okay. Hopefully you'll hit the knight. Alright, and you also can't hit on... Diagonals. But I need to upgrade my archers. My archers are re very recently into the game. As you can see. Let's hit that one. And move you to here. Okay, you're going to move here. And hit that one. Good. And face him. You're going to shoot that one there 
and move back up to here. And you're going to shoot that one. Maybe the other ones will run away. Yeah, graphics are extremely basic. Combat is... It is pretty basic, to be fair. And it's currently not even out yet, if I remember correctly. The details are still very much in the air. Let's shoot you. Can't shoot that one. I think it's too close. Cancel. And controls are a little bit fiddly. I have to press one. I have to press two, one to actually do the attacks. Maybe I'll run away. Never mind, we'll kill it. As you can see, my knight's now leveled up. Willow's leveled up, and Artemis has almost leveled up. But obviously, Pascal's unconscious and doesn't get leveled, so our Pascal is now even more useless to me. But there's different abilities and things you can get. It's extra health, heals 15 health. So you can see it gives extra health here. This will give you more attack and also has knockback. Which will be very useful. But it's also another ability as it were. So I can now do knockback and also deal with extra damage. Which is going to be very useful. Of course I can also level them up again if need be. Rose Rose igniting dry plants. That does cross effect. This does 40 damage. Range 4. 40 damage, line effect shape, breaks destructible objects. Okay, we'll do that. Get a roast egg, igniting dry plants. Let's go for a lance. Good. You are going to get nothing because you're useless. I forgot about that. And you didn't get anything because you died. Okay. So we need to go to the world stone. We need to get there, but we also need to not die. That'll be a tough fight. But as you can see, you have to pick your fights, level up, and then like the world stone is defended by a lot of knights. You can also tell how powerful the enemy is by the coloured circle above their heads. Okay, you're going to move to there. You're going to move to here. You're going to move to here. We'll hold it in space and hit them all in one go. Maybe kill a couple off, the rest will run away. Luckily, archers do have a good range, so we don't really care about, you know, corners. But melee really does. Apparently, I can't quite get the range on these. Uh, let's hit you, then. You're going to move to here and hit this one. Oh, nice. Okay, cancel you. Shoot that one. Good, move to here. Uh, you can't hit that one, okay, move to there. Shoot that one. As you can see, each and every class has its own purpose and place. That archer's dead. Unconscious again, you may not be the same one. Uh, moves to there, take the hits. I don't really need you to level up too much. I need the archers to level up. Take him. Uh, move to there. Uh, shoot that one. But yeah, there are loads of abilities and stuff you want to get. Obviously, not just relying on one skill, really, because you want to be able to make sure you can fight multiple different ways. Okay, finish him off. But yeah, the music's alright, if a little extremely loud for some unknown reason. The combat, it's passable. Like, it's not major. Obviously, it's like very early on, first zone. But it's not, you know, over the top insane. I think they need to work on the whole controls, but yeah. Okay, knight's gone, the archer's getting more powerful, and the scout can now level up. I wanted to, obviously, you're useless to me. No points, this one has an extra point. Like, get level 3. Well, I can get first aid, so I can heal. Or strangle. Double damage from behind, I can get behind him. Lowers earth. See, that lowers the damage. That actually lowers the earth, so you can do destructible terrain. But I can now level him up if I want to. 
Like, I don't want to right now because I need the extra damage. But if I need to, I can. I got a screen over there. Means we can kill this one easier. Let's wipe it out. So if you want to go to the world stone, it starts off red. The world stone starts off red. So we don't want it to really be red. We want to be able to be better at it. Which means we're going to have to level up against regular things. And then I'm probably going to fight the end thing. Just to show you what it is. But it's just the same. Only, you know, lots of knights and stuff. And knights are pretty powerful. When you level up, your character takes on the form of that. Because, like, they will all look like this guy. And then my knight became this massively hawking thing. Take it. Good. You can see there's different levels of health on them as well, so that's fine. But this is 50 damage, so my actual scout right now is really powerful. So I'm probably going to keep him that way to do extra damage. But there are magic casters, there are different um, units you want to get. So you have to sort of make sure you're doing what's right. Pick off that one. Move to there. But yeah, 50 damage. That's my current damage dealer. Oh, he ran away. And occasionally he ran away. My scouts are going to get more powerful at this rate. Not gained any new people since then, but that's fine. Let's give you roast area. Oh, so, you can, so you can forget things as well to get the points back if you don't like what you've done. Let's give you that so you do 50 damage now. You now get to be low as earth. Okay, you're going to count, you're going to forget that. You're now going to do 50 damage and lower the earth. You're now officially my frag lance. And you're just my regular guy. As you can see, we can be more powerful. The world stone is now light green. Which means we can probably destroy it quite easily. So we're going to try out on these knights over here. Oh wow, that's a high level battle. But yeah, you want to wipe out the zone. Obviously get more powerful as time goes by. And we'll see how things go. I haven't actually completed the end of the first area, as it were, so I'm kind of curious to see what it does. Oh. That's an archer. Fire arrow. Okay, move to there. Okay, you wanna. Okay, you wanna move to here. Hit that one. Okay, you're going to... Oof. Hit that one there. Which lowers the earth. I forgot about that. That is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, he's knocked unconscious. That means we get him if we live. I think. Kill that one. He's still alive. Uh oh. So I don't want anyone near him who he'll be able to kill instantly. Which is a problem because he can kill all of them instantly. Oh, I injured him. So maybe he'll hit me if I stay here. Either way, he's dead. Because you're going to hit. Oh. Got another hit on him. Yes. That's perfect. I mean, may have just gone another goblin. Good old Dexter the Knight. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. Pretty basic. So thank you for freeing me. I'm so tired, but I can't stay here. Well, can I trust you? Your good spirit doesn't matter, really. So how it is, is you're a spirit. Which has just randomly come in. Most of the spirits you fight are evil. But I'm a good spirit who's come from the fog. 
to help or something. Just get you the health so you can heal. So Dragon is now with us. But we can also obviously evolve them. As you can see, the knight can now evolve even more into a spell sword or a battle mage. But of course, I kind of need my knight to set carry on existing. Now I can evolve Willow into a wizard, so I'm going to. Willow's now a wizard. Artemis is obviously just a regular person. We're going to turn into a woods witch. Okay. Uh, wait. Evolve. What's it about? What's the wizard? Trustworthy, level headed, true. And study of life, range, healer, variety, with the capabilities. Whether which, whether I can plus speed at suit. Well rounded mage, minus 50 for the flame. We've got a battle mage. Defensive and versatile melee, ca high capability. So, yes. Why not? Let's turn Dexter into a battle mage. Of course, that means my people have a little bit of less health. So, Willow, you're going to stay with that. Artemis, you're going to stick with the scout, actually. Yeah, Artemis, you're going to stick with the, with the scout. Like that. There we go. Dragon is obviously basic, you're basic. Dexter's got Surge, which deals 30 damage, creates water. So I like to obviously level him up, but obviously Willow does Furrows, does Earth damage, creates water. So yeah, it becomes more and more advanced as time goes by, which is very, very interesting. I quite like how the evolution system goes, but now he's to kill some things to level up. I don't quite know why it, when it decides how you get new people. I really don't. That's still a mystery to me. But it's just a thing which seems to happen. Like, occasionally you knock them out, a lot of the time you won't. You just punch... Oh, I can set fires to bushes. Go on, sorry. Yeah, go in the bush. Get a fire arrow. Oh, never mind. Okay, you need to move forward. And search. Okay, you need to furrow. Which literally destroyed the world, which is awesome. They need to be more powerful. But no, you're at one, two now. Yeah, two is a short bow. One, two, two. This is now water. Which also has different properties to the rest of the game. I can't hit anything from here. My troops aren't that powerful, so I need to level them up a lot. There's a problem with evolution, of course. Like, in the game, not evolution in real life. In real life, evolution is a problem. You have to get all your skills again. Yeah, that's that'll be interesting. Evolution according to gamers. I am literally levelling the world as we speak. Oh, he ran away. Oh, level up the archer. Good. My mage is leveled up. My battle mage. My wizard's leveled up. Good, 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 good. This is the game. Like I say, it's not really too much to talk about. My scout's leveled up as well. It might be time to actually get my gear. Okay, equip. Oh, I can actually equip them stuff. Next one, power. Two health. Uh, this here's a fire crystals. Okay, uh, what's this? Rough round stone and common. Might be some hoarder would find some value in it. Plus two health. Yeah, why not? Glass pendant plus one power. So making these more stronger, as you can see. We're going to give you 40 damage. And you're going to get nothing because you're useful already. You're going to become more powerful with the bow. 
You're going to become more powerful with the bow. You're going to do more water damage. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to defeat the world stone. But there's another enemy nearby. Which is... Four of them. Five of them. It's not so easy. Let's find out. Let's go back in. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. There's so many. So, so many. Maybe we can get another one to join us. I could do with another melee specialist, another knight on the field. My current knight's a battle mage. Okay, the fire arrow is now useful again. Move back to here. Move to here. Surge. One down. Hit them. Drop the world. Okay, move forwards. Take out that one. Okay, okay that's three down. Okay, we might lose him. Oh, we are going to lose him. Oh, just. Fire. Uh oh. Ah, eh, why not? Do that and hit two of them. You're going to move to hit. Here, take him out. We have actually left water in the floor. He's going to go down. He's going to take two hits and go down. So both of the scouts went down. That's annoying, but whatever. So it is very tactical on what you need to do. Hit that one. I do like the battle mage. Oh, he ran away. You only seem to get 250 experience per battle, I have noticed. So we're going to equip. Where's my dragon? No, just my Dexter. Okay. Extra health. Extra health. Uh, rough around stone. I don't know, maybe there. Extra one health. Is that all I'm giving him health? Oh, two power. No. There we go. So like I say, the longer you fight, the more you can obviously get the gear. But we're after the world stone. So it's three knights. Colourful worlds and unsure one where moments of peace only moments and all can collapse with a and jostle. But a spirit fought on. So there's a high chance we'll lose. If we do, we'll just run away. So there isn't too much in the way of, like, faults here. You just run all the time. Which, I guess, means there isn't too much in the way of risk or reward. But again, this is still early on. Okay, he's badly damaged. Take him. That's one down. Oh, drop something nice by the looks of it. Okay, we're going to wait. You're going to wait as well. 
Okay, knocked him back. That's good. I was going to take him. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, take that guy. And stay here. Uh, move here. Hit them. That worked. Good. Hit these two. Then run away to there. Hit that one. Then run away to here. Even though you should have healed yourself, probably. And there we go. Oh, you're going to move again. Okay, move. Done. And we've done it. We've cleaned the first zone. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens here. Like I say, it's a first impression. I'm just trying to get to learn how this Exeal ability stuff all work. We're going to go in to see how it ends. Because the objective, of course, to stone. Flat world, the world stone. Cool. Now what? Tap. Wait, what? Evolve? Willow. Obviously, there. Artemis, I want you to become a knight. Actually, no, I'd rather dragon be the knight, because Artemis is actually being useful as they are. There we go. So. Oh, the Everberry. I guess we're just in this world grabbing items, because now a new item has appeared. So it's slowly going through, becoming more powerful. What is that? What is that? And going on. So yeah, I guess there isn't really an end as of this point in time. Maybe it gets more advanced, maybe not. But your goal is obviously to grab the gear, become more powerful. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, sorry, you're already in an archer. Okay. Let's see how things go, but yeah. Let's train you. Okay, you've got that. 45. I'd like to also... Hmm, grab the salvo too? Why not? You, of course, must be even more water damaging. You, of course, must be more earth damaging. They can start doing stuff like... I don't know, meteor. No, it's not too powerful, actually. Combust, spark... Okay, you definitely want to have better first aid skills, eventually. You, of course, need new things, but yeah. I'm kind of curious to see where it goes, but it seems to be like there may not be an end currently. Or if there is, it's further in. I was expecting to be able to get an end just there. But as you can see, everything here is now green. It's just here for us to level up. I doubt we're going to get too many more people. We start off with three, we have five. I've gained one during this actual video. But you never know. Like I say, you can just wander past them all if you feel like it. You don't have to fight anything. Now you can see, I'm just running deeper into the world. Now I imagine you'll also start fighting all the other creatures too. Because obviously I have knights and things, and they only have knights and archers. I imagine there becomes more powerful troops as time goes by. Oh, become a, it's a boat. Oh! Or you fight stuff like that. And they're now yellow. Oh, that is a big army. That is a big army. So yeah, this is some um, tender foot tactics. Which gets much more tactical. and looks like significantly larger bat fights. There's like 10 units there. So maybe you do get a lot more goblins. Anyway, you probably already decide whether you like it or not. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Links, as always, are in the description. And as always, it's been another Who's That Indie? Bringing strategic, tactical survival games straight to your face holes. Hmm. I don't think I'm ready for this place yet. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed it. I quite like it. It's not out just yet, but of course, links will be in the description. Take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Ciao's for nows. Bye-bye.